EVgo, which is one of the largest fast charging networks in the United States, just received some great news and provided great news to investors. In this video, I'm going to share with you the details of that news, which relates to a massive loan provided by the Department of Energy. And if that means that EVgo stock investors should now feel comfortable about the company's longer term prospects. Let's take a look at the details. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, on October 3rd, EVgo announced that it has received a conditional commitment for a loan guarantee of up to $1.05 billion from the U.S. Department of Energy under its Title 17 program to accelerate expansion of its fast charging networks in community locations across the United States. So this is part of a U.S. government stimulus program or fiscal program to help facilitate the increase in charging stations across the United States. This has been one of the reasons why the growth of electric vehicles has been slow in the United States, at least way slower than expected. Many of these companies in 2019 and in 2020 were expecting growth of this industry to be four, five, six times the rate that it's actually growing. And I think a lot of investors and companies got fooled into thinking the dynamics during the pandemic would continue even in the aftermath. But once supply chain shortages eased, people's availability for internal combustion engine vehicles increased and they continue to choose those vehicles over electric vehicles. And so these companies need significant amounts of government help in order to survive, in order to sustain themselves until the industry grows to a much larger scale enough to support companies like EVgo. So the company saying that access to this low cost financing will facilitate the build out of approximately 7,500 additional fast charging stations or stalls across the United States. And if finalized, EVgo expects to complete the deployment of this by 2030. So this is a long-term thing. It'll take them roughly six years to complete the installation of these 7,500 charging stalls. Interestingly, EVgo stock price jumped by 60% on the back of this news. A 60% increase because of a loan. Now that's curious, right? And one of the reasons why this happens in these cases is because a company like EVgo, when it's in financial difficulty, when the business, the sustainability of the business is under question, an infusion of capital like this really reduces those worst case scenarios. Now, I'm not saying the company was at risk of going bankrupt, but when they receive a billion dollar infusion, it really lowers that risk considerably. And when you're close to that risk, reducing that offers an exponentially positive impact. It wouldn't be the same if a company like Apple was to receive a $1 billion infusion. It wouldn't make that much of a difference for Apple. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't move the needle at all for Apple because Apple has close to a 0% risk of going bankrupt over the next five years. Whereas for EVgo, the chance of it going bankrupt over the next five years was considerably higher. And so with an infusion of a billion dollars, it really lowers that risk meaningfully. And when you decrease that risk meaningfully, it creates a lift in the stock price because investors now can give, now can feel like the company has time on its hands. It can wait, it can grow slowly, it can wait for the industry to mature and thereby giving the company time to put itself on more sustainable footing. Now, EVgo generated $207 million in revenue over the previous trailing 12 months, and so this $1 billion loan will be five times its revenue that it generated over the previous year, so it's a significant sum for EVgo. Now, I mentioned the company's in financial difficulty. It's because it's losing so much money negative 68% operating profit margin over the trailing 12 months. But what is impressive is the company's improving the negative number. It's making progress towards profitability. And that's all you can ask for companies that are losing money on the bottom line to demonstrate progress towards profitability. 
and EV EVgo is definitely demonstrating that progress, even though the number negative 69% or 68.6% is really, really negative. And that's really detrimental to the company's prospects longer term because that's money that's going out of the company every quarter, every month. It's losing this money. And so it needs to get new money in order to survive. Otherwise, when it runs out of money, what can it do next? Just like its operating profit margin, the company's improving its cash flow from operations. It was negative 21 million in the most recent trailing 12 month period. That's a big improvement from roughly negative 70 million in late 2022. So you could see the company has made great progress in reducing the losses on the bottom line. And now if it's only losing, let's say 20 million annually, and that number is improving, and it now has a billion dollars of cash, that gives it a long runway, right? The, a billion dollars divided by 20 million, that's 50 years at that rate the company can go without running out of cash. But the company is designating that money to building out those 7,500 stations or stalls, which will facilitate likely an increase in cash leaving the company even if it's not cash leaving through operations, it might be capital investments that has the company having its cash balance decrease over time. Now, following that stock price surge today on the back of this news, EVgo is now trading at the most expensive valuation it's traded for in the last year. According to its forward price to sales ratio, it's now trading at a forward price to sales of 1.9. EVgo saying that while this conditional commitment indicates the Department of Energy's intent to finance the project, the company has to satisfy certain technical, legal, environmental, and financial conditions before the department enters into a definitive financing document and funds the loan. So there is more work to be done before EVgo actually receives this money, but the company wanted to hurry up and make this announcement because I'm sure management knew what a positive impact it would have on its stock price. And now with the stock price jumping by 60%, even before this deal is finalized, perhaps the company can go out and raise some capital through selling some shares of stock because the stock price has now soared so it can receive more money by selling shares of stock. So it creates more flexibility for this company. Now, you're probably thinking, what do I think of EVgo stock? Do I think it's a buy, hold, or a sell? Well, I have EVgo stock rated as a hold, and I updated that recommendation today on October 3rd following this announcement. EVgo, good prospects over the longer term now that it has the billion dollars. The question mark becomes, can it grow efficiently? Can it grow effectively? And can it wait for the electric vehicle market to grow to a large enough scale to support this business. The question mark remains on that front. Hey everyone, I'm excited to announce that my book is finally available for sale. I've been working on it for more than a year now, so I'm really excited to finally share this with you now. It goes through my framework for evaluating stocks. Some of you often ask why I like this stock or why I like the other stock. And this framework provides you the things that I look at when I'm evaluating stocks. I've added the link in the description below.